Josh Hicks here. Um, listen, I am hoping that you're catching this video. I've got something I've got to share with you, and um, it is just really a brutal world out there that we we have. Um, you know, I just heard a statistic that over 150,000 kids don't go to school because of bullying. Um, and that really made me think about something because I was bullied when I was really young, and I remember you know, finding something that I could find confidence in and redirecting my mindset at that time. Me as a kid at that time didn't know what mindset was, but I did know that I didn't like what was happening. Um, and I've uh, been very close to individuals that have had it in uh, way worse uh, situations and circumstances out there in, in bullying from uh, kids, but also family members and, and everything else. Um, so, you know, I definitely understand that. Now, what it really, really kind of touched me was thinking about those kids, if never helped, if never coached to get into a different mindset, uh, never redirected, become adults. And that's us today. Um, you know, we become adults out here. And if you never really looked it in the face and figured out how to redirect your own mindset to do this, then you're probably getting bullied in your everyday life in some fashion or form. Now, it may not be you're getting, you know, hit over the head or pushed or, you know, physically bullied, but it could be verbally, emotionally, mentally, you could be uh, going through this. Uh, and, you know, a lot of things that come to mind to me since we work with a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and building business and, uh, you know, training and coaching and these kind of things. Well, the, the one thing that really sticks out to me is this could be somebody that, like yourself, that you may be in a career right now that you've really just found your way over here because you're looking to build something outside of what you got because you know what you have is not fulfilling you. And maybe it is because of the levels of bullying in your workplace. Maybe it is that um, uh, you're in a, in a place right now where you're kind of getting that from even loved ones or friends and saying you can't do this. You can't, you can't make it if you go out there and be something more than you need to go in and actually work on an hourly job and, and have a career where you can build yourself up in a company. Maybe that's it. But the thing is, is you're not alone if that is what is happening. There are a lot of people. I remember the steps from all the way from the steps of when I started, uh, you know, of being bullied as a kid. I remember I redirected my mindset of finding and becoming an athlete. You know, um, that was something that that saved me from a, a childhood of being able to come in and, and, and actually had a skill set that I was able to use and, and it, it changed my life. Uh, growing up, uh, I remember um, when I, I, I became, an, I'll just skip to the uh, the adult side of where I actually started career, you know, the career of what I was going to do and, and really testing things out. But, you know, remember feeling that I, I had I had been bullied in a major way where at one point I was doing uh, the work of uh, of older uh, people that were with me that were older. I was doing the same work or more when they were making, you know, 15 times more than what I was, you know, and that uh, I remember multiple times me trying to, uh, you know, talk to somebody about it and they said, no, you, you're, you're restricted. You know, you, you, you need to stay with what you got and you got to earn your keep for, you know, a long time. And, and so it was, it was a form of bullying where it restricted me, it confined me. It didn't let me, uh, actually create. And that was something that really set in me. And I really didn't understand it at that time at, at a young age, but over time, you know, I realized that I was tired of being restricted and told that I could not do, I could not have, you know, and I had to make somebody else money. I had to, I had to build them up before I could do anything. And the question that I always had is why would somebody do that? Why would I be bullied into staying in that position to help them? Well, it's because they wanted to be helped. They wanted to grow their thing. They had control. You know, so these levels, my point is these levels are happening in our everyday life. And so one thing I would say is find those things in your life that are confining you, restricting you, keeping you from fulfillment in what you want. 
And maybe it's not a career jumping out and owning your own business as an entrepreneur because you want freedom, time freedom, the financial freedom, whatever it may be. That's just a lot of what we talk about. And so I'm using and applying that the time where I know uh, thousands of uh, entrepreneurs that we've worked with, uh, there's a lot of stories that I've, I've had shared with me that this was the case. They were being confined and restricted because they were being told they couldn't, that they weren't good enough, that they didn't have the skill set, they didn't have the ability. When all the while, their time, the most precious thing that we have in our lives, it was being wasted. And more importantly, what inside of that time that you have, you are able to do. Don't be restricted or confined. Find those places that you have being that you are being confined or restricted. Find those places. Number two, find out how you can actually step out of that and get into a different mindset. You see kids and individuals every day. Depression is hitting across the, the I mean, just the world right now. In a, in a world where it's amplified by social media and things like this, a kid will grow up to be an adult and they will have it there too. And then when you're an adult, you're able to go and you, you, you get into things like, for instance, alcohol or um, you know drugs or whatever it may be where you kill that pain that you are dealing with. Don't be that person. You ha- you're not alone out here. If, you are, if, if, this, if this is something that hits home for you, listen, you are not alone. We have a network, thousands of entrepreneurs out here that have a story. If you're on the, on the, on the, you're looking for something, you're out here to do it. Maybe you're an entrepreneur already and you're looking for something else and you're looking for a network of people to do that. That's what we do here. Check that out. Listen, connect, like this video, uh, like the page, um, connect with us, uh, join our group. You are welcome here. Uh, we want to have you, uh, and share some of the things that we've got in the coming weeks here. Uh, if you're looking for that career change or coaching or whatever it may be, uh, just maybe it's just connecting, and we are totally fine with that. We are here to uh, help you in any way. And listen, I'd love to, I'd love to connect. So please send a message over, share your story with. If you've gone through this, it's time to stop right now. Change it. That's all we can do. Direct our mindset, and if you want like-minded people that are in that same way connect with us we will actually be there uh, along the journey with you so if you like this we will see you uh on the next video uh connect with us and until then we will see you on the other side Hey, thanks for sticking around. And by the way, you like videos like that, check this out right next to us right here. It's going to be exactly what you need. If you're new, subscribe down below. You'll get updated on all new information coming. And if you comment below, I'm going to be pulling somebody on a monthly to give free coaching away. Looking forward to it. See you on the other side.